Hello everybody and welcome back. I just wanted to give a very short update of the state of the BAT 6502 project and what's been happening uh, because um, the project's gone into a sort of incubation phase um, which is uh, very time consuming and you don't see a lot happening. Uh, first of all I'm currently dividing my time programming on three different things. First of all, I want to uh, work on the base of, of the simulation. Um, the second part is currently being put into uh, trying to get a, a Commodore 64 version of the simulator running, but um, I'm looking into different techniques of doing that and uh, since I've never really programmed an emulator uh, I'm still learning a lot and the last part is going into stabilizing the commander x16 um, port on this uh, because it's already relatively good and uh, I want to get to the to the point where I can uh, separate out the Vera emulation and have the Vera emulation or simulation code running uh, basically as a full speed thread on the uh, Raspberry Pi CPU. That would be really cool because it would accelerate a lot of stuff and it would make some of the timing quirks that I'm running into right now, uh, it would just make them disappear. Apart from that, there hasn't been a lot of development otherwise. I have been able to procure some of the uh, stranger parts that I need for this, like um, the tall standoffs uh, for, for mounting a normal Raspberry Pi under a dev board. And I got some of those. Uh, also, I have put together um, some more boards and I've sent them off to uh, fellow developers who were interested in getting one of them um, just to try them out themselves. So right now um, there are, as far as I know, um, at least four working uh, BAT 6502s out there. And um, one is still in a non-working state because um, the guy who got it uh, actually managed to order the wrong CPU. He actually got a 5 volt CPU and um, well <laughs> that won't work. What you do need is a Western Design Center 65 CO2 or for that part a 65 C816 um, but I'm not really supporting that yet. Um, it could be available in a future release but right now uh, it will just run as a 65 co2 yeah so from a hardware standpoint basically that's it regarding the software there's been small improvements uh, like for example on the vic20 emulation um, I've been able to get a lot more performance while at the same time having a lot less glitches um, in the emulated hardware. Um, although some of the emulated hardware is actually running asynchronously now, which makes a huge difference performance wise. So this is still all standard uh, VIC-20 code uh, regarding the, uh, the ROMs, uh, but the simulation um, is now a lot more exact regarding the, the hardware path, although it is running on the Raspberry Pi and it's running multi-threaded. Uh, regarding the emulation of the uh, C16, we now have um, pretty stable emulation uh, for BASIC. Uh, we have 
also very basic sound support. Uh, PCM is still way off. Uh, that is one of the reasons why I want to decouple the Vera thread and have that run at system speed and uh, just do the, the screen assembly uh, basically uh, according to, to simulated timings. And those things are going to take some time to program because they're actually not that simple. But apart from that, uh, I am very, very happy with the way the whole thing works. So running the same program here uh, actually shows that the performance isn't that bad at all. Um, with this we even get uh, a working brake key? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> yes we do. <laughs> um, yeah there's a lot to be done and um, there's a lot that this thing can do but the software um, still can't do it. But uh, that is where we're currently working on and um, it's it's really interesting uh, there there's a whole world out there um, of possibilities that just weren't there before um, running a uh, 6502 and um, well let's explore them so that's the update for today um, not a lot to show but uh, it's the small progress that takes the most time Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.